Uh, tell me a little bit about your background. My background. Okay, so I am a medical doctor by training and a mother. And when people say, so what kind of medicine are you practicing? I say, I'm practicing political medicine because it's the mother of all illnesses. Mm. And we got to fix this one if we want to fix all the other things that are desperately broken and are literally and figuratively killing us right now. So, I mean, you know, my personal background is, uh, you know, I was not a politically active person. I was a lot of who is mobilizing and standing up right now. Mm. I was not a member of any political party. You know, I was a, um, a mom and I was, you know, working in the health clinic and just observing that uh, our kids were really in trouble with this epidemic of asthma and learning disabilities and autism and cancers and things that never used to happen to kids and obesity and diabetes. And I said to myself, you know, our genes didn't change overnight what's going on here. So I got involved with community groups and with health advocacy groups to try to get our health care system back so it could actually do its job and also to try to get to the community drivers which is where health and disease is really determined. We don't get to health by handing out pills in the clinic and I didn't feel good doing that although it's important and we need that to happen too but that's not the answer. We got to stop pushing people into chronic disease and desperate illness through pollution, you know, through a food system which is making us sick, is thoroughly toxic, a transportation system that makes it unsafe, you know, to get out and ride your bike to go to work or for your kids to walk to school, and by poverty, you know, which itself, poverty and homelessness, uh, you know, and the oppression of our civil liberties, which are very much drivers of chronic stress and chronic disease. So, okay. to make a long story short, that's how I got involved at the policy end. Okay. Not political at all, and it took me about 10 years of just working when on you say, policy. When you say the policy end, I mean, what were you doing? I what became did? an advocate, okay. you know, and uh, I helped community groups try to go to our legislature on bended knee and say, oh, please, please, okay. you know, instead of funding the, um, you know, the, the incinerators that are polluting our fish supply mm -hmm. and, and our air and so all the rest. Like Instead of that, health. let's right and let's fund uh, recycling because it creates jobs and it prevents the pollution. Okay. We did a lot of work on that, and we discovered that the harder we worked, you know, the faster we were backsliding. And it took me about ten years as an advocate to realize that's what the game is all about. Mm -hmm. It's to tie you up being a powerless advocate, so-called lobbying. But the truth is. The only way to really lobby is with money. And if you are not a rich corporation, you know, or a CEO, forget the lobbying. The how lobbying the real, is all about the money. How do the real people lobby? I mean, how do people, how does, how does the public... The, oh, well, you think I'm going to go, I go educate, right? I'm going to educate my elected officials. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to get a petition. I'm going to show how many people really care about this. We lobbied with, with science. We lobbied with truth. We lobbied with public opinion. We lobbied, um, you know, with the implied voter power. Yeah. But implied voter power is not a voter threat. Yeah. And as uh, Frederick Douglass said, power concedes nothing without the demand. Mm -hmm. And just the implied threat mm -hmm. doesn't do it. You actually, and then for me, the last straw, yeah. okay? After we saw all these health and, and environmental and job creating initiatives fail one after the other, because of the power of money in politics, we thought, okay, let's get the money out of politics. So what did we do? We ran a referendum in Massachusetts that won, by a two-to-one margin, we won public financing for campaigns. We got campaign finance reform. That was going to fix it, right? Except that the legislature then, a Democratic legislature, 90% Democratic, turned around and repealed it on a voice vote. For me, that was the last straw. That was why I joined the Green Party as the way that we actually get to critical mass so we can bring together the advocates, ordinary citizens fighting for decent wages, for jobs that, that provide a living and that make our communities healthier, not making bombs to you know, destroy other communities, that respect immigrant rights as human rights, uh, that provide a health care system as a human right that saves us trillions of dollars while providing health care for everyone. We all get together. That's how we get to critical mass. 
that's what a political party is all about. It's about the big vision that brings everybody in, and it's about sitting down and creating a strategy that makes sense in real time for what you're going to focus on, mm -hmm. given the realities on the ground this year. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for your interest. Let's see if I can get a